Speed. Mark. Be only Mark! I will. Yeah. Oh, I see. My, don't let them get spread out too well, much. Well, they can help, but they would have to take Silly. Don't worry, you did a great thing. It's gonna be remembered for a very long time. The funny thing is, it delivered a million passengers over 40 years in the air. And in the end, I'm gonna be judged by 208 seconds. I don't like not being in control of this process. I want myself back. I'm open six months from now. We'll just be laughing about how we got to meet David Letterman. It's really 70 degrees out here. <laughs> Do you have any contacts? Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. If the mayor wants to say hello, he can come down here. We're still working. So I'll assume it'll count for you. Jeff, 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 I need a count. I need a count. From the banks of the Hudson River, I'm Katie Couric. So we had to show Flirty happy, I love the airport selling before he gets on the flight. Can't wait to eat my $8 tuna sandwich. Oh, yeah, yeah. Unbuckling your seat. It was a five point thing. Do you want to turn or pull? What do I do? So I, I had the turnbuckle on upside down. Sure. Yeah. Because I was That's uh, great. So, so the first. Actually, no. Aguardia Tower, 5049. We're trying to make one three. No relay. We got no power. You're down. You're down. I got an A320 diving for the river. Al Stackle, the inbounds to the Guardian. That's going nuts up top. Aren't you coming? I guess he didn't hear. I lost Cactus 1549. You know that's it. Well, I guess you didn't hear. He landed the son of a bitch. <laughs> what? Everyone has been pulled off. It's a miracle. Oh, my God. I thought I lost them all. Are, there, are they paying you for all this media stuff at least? It's not necessary. Well, I wish the bank felt the same way. It's just we, we got this notice. Well. I wish the bank felt the same way. And it's just we we got this we got this notice about the the space in Butte County. But you're not working anymore. We've all heard about the computer simulations, and now we are watching actual sims, but I can't quite believe you still have not taken into account the human factor. This was a dual engine loss at 2,800 feet, followed by an immediate water landing with 155 souls on board. No one said you're going to lose both engines at an altitude lower than any jet in history, but be cool, turn left, and head back for LaGuardia like you're picking up the milk. This was dual engine loss at 2,800 feet, followed by immediate water landing with 155 souls on board. No one has ever trained for an incident like that. No one, ever.
<laughs> this wasn't a video game. It was life and death. Sully's right. That's worth a few seconds. Now that we've seen what could have happened, can we uh, listen to what actually did? Okay, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. My name is Charles Porter. I'm a board member of the National Transportation Safety Board and chairman of this public hearing. Before we listen to the cockpit voice recording, and we will be listening to it for the first time along with you, gentlemen. Per the request. Multiple airports and runways, three successful landings. We are simply mimicking what the computer already told us. Great. Hey, Ken. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sully's coming. Oh, okay. <laughs> And do the thing, and then we'll, uh, then we'll, we'll turn around. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, perfect. Good. All right. So Hi, Vale here. Now, keeping with the drama, and knowing everyone loves a good drama, here are the top 10 drama movies of all time, according to Rotten Tomatoes. Coming in at number 10 is Rear Window, from 1954, starring James Stewart and Grace Kelly. At number 9 is 2013's Gravity, starring Sandra Bullock and George Clooney. Number 8 is Roman Polanski's Repulsion. Jean Renoir's Grand Illusion is at number 7, and Richard Linklater's award-winning Boyhood comes in at number 6. Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid Bergman's Casablanca is number 5, while Fritz Lang's Metropolis is at number 4. Number 3 is Francis Ford Coppola's Godfather, and number 2 is All About Eve, starring Betty Davis. And topping off the list at number 1 is... Wait for it, do you really want to know? Okay, number 1 is Orson Welles's Citizen Kane.
<laughs> okay, so do you agree with this list? What would be your top 10? Let me know in the comments below and remember to subscribe to our channel for all the latest trailer releases. Bye!